What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video review today. My name is Sheldon from Foundation North Vancouver on 1600 Marine and today we got a pretty sweet video for you. We are going to be reviewing our 2022 Ram 1500 Rebel. This thing is a beast. I love the Hydra Blue, that color that it came in with the black accents. I think it looks really sleek and clean. The interior on this is going to impress you. I know that because it impressed the hell out of me. And well, this truck is the one you're going to want. I think it might be a truck of the year. Let's get this video started. All right, everyone, let's get things started right now with the exterior of this truck. I must say this Hydra Blue is absolutely gorgeous, especially with all the black accents. All the Ram logos and all the other logos throughout this vehicle are gonna be in black, which is super clean. I love that a lot. The mirrors are in black. We've got our black rims and tires as well, as you can see right here. And it makes its way all the way to the front bumper and grill, all in black with those gorgeous lights. Love those headlights, they look really clean at night. This truck honestly is such a sweet truck. I love the Rebel series. Ram really does a good job with this. Kind of, it honestly gives me a little bit of a TRX feel. Uh, not far from it. As you can see up here, we've got our 1500 logo. With the 5.7 liter, this is a V8, 395 horsepower, absolute beast. Really love these vents at the front. Super clean, very aggressive looking. This truck also sounds very aggressive, and honestly, if you threw an exhaust on it, even lifted it, you'd probably be turning quite a few heads on the road. Let's make our way to the back here. Love the taillights, they look very modern, very clean. We've got massive exhaust pipes on this truck. We'll give you a little test of that in a bit. Just give you a little show there. Chrome exhaust with our foundation mud flaps, very clean. Black accents throughout the bottom of the vehicle there. A ram in black as well as the Rebel with kind of like a little bit of a silver outline, which is very clean. I like that a lot. 4x4, all-wheel drive, of course. Ram logo right here in black. All the details, it's honestly very impressive. Ram, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Ram trucks. They don't let you down. Power tailgate. We don't have the bed liner done yet, but when this vehicle is sold, you most likely best bet that we will have that done. We make sure all our trucks come with the bed liner if the customer requests it. And why not? You don't want to scratch this thing. It is a beauty. Yeah, love the way it looks from the outside. I'm curious what you guys think. Comment down below. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's get started with the interior. All right, let's get started on the interior. Was the one thing about this truck that really impressed me, this interior, absolutely gorgeous. As you can see here, love the Rebel stitching that they did right here in white. Looks so clean, the leather on the seats, very, very nice leather, very comfortable seats. Driving over here, it was quite a comfortable ride. Door paneling, once again, that very nice leather throughout, but our lock controls, window controls, uh, mirrors, all that jazz. Steering wheel right here, very nice steering wheel. The material, they did not cheap out on it. Some Ram trucks, the steering wheels I'm not super fond of, but this one was actually really nice. Like I said, it, it does give you a little bit of a TRX vibe. I love the Rebel branding. They really, they really do a good job with this series of trucks. But our light controls here, a dimmer, parking right there, parking brake. And then we'll show you the screen right here. Rebel, so you know you're driving this beast. As you can see on the odometer, only 25 kilometers. This truck is brand, brand new. I love the way these uh, these screens look. That The TRX is very similar. Absolutely gorgeous, big fan of it. 
we got our push push start right there the button put foot in the brake obviously you press the button and then it turns on the vehicle and then we've got our uh, controls right here for parking rear neutral drive we've got our four-wheel drive auto two-wheel drive our four-wheel drive high and four-wheel drive low and then the one thing about this truck that is the most impressive is this 12 inch screen you cannot go wrong with this thing absolutely sick i love the buttons as well sometimes you know with these screens nowadays they don't be including the buttons it's just pure screen but they have that on this so i love that plugs up here ram badging right there very clean alpine system throughout the entire vehicle very impressive sound system got our dial right here for music obviously the tune if you go into here traction control you can turn that on and off our toll hall parking rear and front if you look down here usb usb c ports this right here the center console center console is actually really impressive lots of space push that guy back and then you have all that storage right there which is very impressive pull it all the way back if you open this guy right here more storage below tons of storage they really didn't uh, cheap out on that you can open up this it adds a second one if you want to throw your keys or whatever it may be in there check up here rear view mirror got our light switches our assist button the camera focuses here perfect road assist these are the rear uh right here if you click that button it opens up the uh the rear there close it like that boom more of our uh buttons up here for the lights garage control in there yeah overall very impressed with this interior of this truck let's show you in the back side here tons of space look at that crew cab in the back wow that is a lot of space you know ford really tries to pride themselves in these super crew cabs but i'll be honest ram has been killing the game lately with look at that side like you can fit a lot of people back there tall people tons of room great for road trips you can see the console back here it's not carbon fiber but it kind of has a little bit of a pattern really cool i do like it adds a little more luxury to truck got our cup holders right here of course more usb usb c ports right there vents so your uh, passengers in the back can get some nice airflow and heat you can pull this guy down right here more cup holders like i said the leather on these seats are very impressive very high end do love it a lot then our all-weather mats once again throughout the entire vehicle very impressive mats they are heavy duty they did not cheap out on that and uh you know overall for a truck that's in the 70 80k range this this has to be one of the best on the market it's as close to a trx as you might get it very impressive in size in the interior and luxury as well all the door panelings our alpine sound system there and under these mats are uh, extra storage as well so you can store more things in there which is cool love that let's uh let's pop the trunk i mean sorry the hood let's pop the hood there close that up hopefully i don't need two hands to do this got it right there boom there she is your 200 395 sorry 395 horsepower v8 5.7 liter monster take a look inside the engine there while it's running very impressive truck look at that so clean very gorgeous love the black accents again throughout the inside of the uh the you know inside of the hood inside of the truck here keeping that uh theme throughout the vehicle this is a this is a vehicle you want to take a look at see it in person you got to drive it get a feel for it a feel like how i had today i was pretty blown away very impressive this truck is you know i give it a solid eight nine out of ten it's not really missing much close that up just like that very easy you know, the only thing i'd really say about this truck that would give it that 10 out of 10 is that you don't get the uh you don't get the sunroof so the camera focuses here give it a sec there it is as you can see 
You don't get the sunroof in this vehicle. Ram's having a little bit of an issue right now with their parts. Seems like a lot of these trucks are not coming with sunroofs, obviously due to the whole COVID situation and uh, the world was shut down, so parts being behind in the uh, car industry. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful truck. Let's make our way over to the passenger side. Gorgeous, same theme throughout the whole vehicle. We've got our Rebel right there. Love it, very clean. Just like that, <laughs> opens up, which is kind of cool. Close it just like that. More storage, our vents, as well as the Rebel stitching throughout the vehicle. Little Dodge logo right there, very nice. and. We do have a little uh, Ram logo right here in the corner, running up the vehicle as well. So, that concludes our video today, our review of this 2022 Ram 1500 Rebel in the Hydra Blue. I wanna know what you guys think about this truck, what you think about the, uh, the video. We love hearing your feedback to keep building this channel and give you guys more car reviews. I give this truck a solid eight maybe nine out of ten like i said if they had the uh the panoramic roof sunroof like I, I i'm a big fan of those in vehicles so maybe it would uh, bump it up to a 10 but this is the best bang for your buck that you're going to get on a truck and uh i hope one of you guys that's looking into a truck consider something like this come down and see it in person it's a totally different experience and you guys want to experience that in person there's only so much i can show you through a lens but I do hope that it showed you enough, give you enough information. I'll add more information about this vehicle in the description. And like I said, we're gonna be making videos every week, reviewing all our brand new trucks, cars, SUVs, you name it. And you know, I'd love to hear your feedback. Leave that like, comment, subscribe, please. Helps us grow and uh, catch you in the next one.